Hey traders, how we all doing? Bam, live trading. So look, um, NXTD moved uh, pretty nicely. I didn't play this. I mean, just looking at the chart, uh, I like when it consolidates. I mean, you know, in the back of my mind, I was still a bit concerned, <clears throat> you know, with my trade last night and I was looking for this to dip down a little bit and uh, I was thinking about here, didn't like this candle, so I left it and I've been watching a couple of the stocks. I've been watching SSC. Um, you know, I'm not really worried by that at all. Got the phone going off in the background. Apologies for that. Uh, NXTD, how's this looking? You know, I'm doing a mixed bag on the bid and ask. You know, some big, big ish sell orders in the 590s. Nothing really super, super exciting, to be honest. You know, it just looks like it's going to go sideways. Um, you know, right there, just trying to, you know, none of these entries really were to my, you know, system, which is mainly dip buys and breakouts. So I wouldn't really say that, you know, it was a significant move. It was just like a steady increase. And I, I wasn't really interested. Mm -hmm. I was more focused on waiting for the dip buy and just being, being a little bit disciplined, you know, because uh, yesterday, really, honestly, it was pretty rough. It's like, you know, an aggressive 320 entry. Um, and it pulled back pretty hard immediately after. <clears throat> uh, ABWN volume is still not really good. And, uh, wow, the market cap's not super teeny tiny. So this had some news out, and I've, you know, been contemplating playing this to set another little dip down. And... Mm -hmm. I was kind of playing getting in here, but the volume was really minuscule. So I kept this plan. I watched this one. And I watched it fade a little bit. Uh, I had, had a couple of big sell orders in, uh, and and the volume that for the for the sell off wasn't you know dramatic, um, but it wasn't really like a panic sell or anything like that. So the news here was uh, Airborne Wireless Network enters into support agreement with GE Aviation, um, which is a, a GE business unit, which makes sense. Uh, and you know this was our pre-market. Uh, was it 8:30? Yeah, 8:30. So and it, I don't think it's pre-market uh, trading on this one. Uh, but you know it 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 moved pretty nicely. Here would have probably been a nice little entry, and I hesitated because um, this had better volume than what we were seeing there. But this one was such a low volume, I knew it was going to move slowly. And I was like, do I want to deal with this? Um, it was only going to be a thousand shares. And I was like, do I have the patience? Not really. This would be a good test of that. But I, I ended up, you know, not playing that. I was watching NXTD for the dip. So, because this one does have plenty of volume as well. But it's, um, you know, right here is not too bad. It's just, you know, it's, it's testing the support. Volume solid. And it, it does have news out. There are a few stocks actually I mentioned in the watch list earlier. Um, NXTD subsidiary fit pay. No, that wasn't it. I thought there was another piece of news out. There we go. Oh, that's the same news. No, this was later in the session. Later in the session, so they announced they um, will enable people to make purchases of cryptocurrency. Stock files almost 100% as a result. Um, that might have been a different agency, maybe. It, it was PR News Wire. Okay, micro caps, micro small cap. All right, interesting. So, I mean, it's finding some support here. Uh, I have work tomorrow, but at 11 a.m. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang around and watch this a little bit. I would like to take a live trade, but um, this is good how I do these videos. So, I can, you know, keep things accountable. I was really keen on trading NXTD. I was really keen on trading NXT. The, um, because subconsciously I was thinking, you know, I'm going to make some money off this again because it cost me, and it cost me because I was a little reckless last night. So I, I sort of, I hesitated a little bit on NXTD too. So it's, uh, yeah, this one's really nice with the news though, and the chart, but it's just one of these things you get in, and it's, it's just the volume is really ugly. I mean, a big order at 216. I mean, the ask is heavier than the bid, just looking at that. 
<clears throat> you'd really want to see it sell off more. I mean, really down to you know, the 160s would be really good. Because it's just it's hanging up there. It's on the tightrope. You know, it's the high probability that it's going to collapse. I mean, this thing's a junker. Junker, clunker. Uh, NVFY as well. That was on the watch list too. Didn't do too much. They announced um, that Noble Lifestyle expects to enhance sales through the acceptance of Bitcoin and other major cryptocurrencies in developing blockchain distribution platforms. So I was looking at that um, and I didn't really see anything either. Uh, you know, and then trade it. Uh, what was this Long Island Ice? Long Island Ice Tea. This had <laughs> smooth pretty strongly, but now it's just not doing anything. This is Larissa. They, um, Long Island Ice Tea Corp are rebranding themselves as Long Blockchain Corp. <laughs> you know, when you're in a you know, a bit of a situation like a bubble when companies are doing that. Like it's like when they did dot com, you know, when there was the internet craze in the early two thousands. So, um, yeah, is that just to confuse people? Like they think they're in the blockchain, but they make Long Island ST or I don't, I don't understand that. That's crazy. SSC as well. Uh, they had some news about um, announces twenty percent purchase of Delaware Board. So this one's. We moved a little bit pre-market. Um, I wasn't too focused on this one. The volume, the volume, the volume wasn't too bad. I sort of stopped watching after this and this has happened, but you know, it's not super, super exciting either. This is, uh, this is still moving. Moving, 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 big boulders. Big, 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 big. I haven't really done it today, I haven't even got out of the pajamas, but um, I'm just feeling exhausted. This one looks a little bit pre market as well. They resume trading. What is this biotech analysis? I'm going to try one. I'm not sure what Seeking Alpha article is talking about there, but we'll just let it go, really. APWN, I'm just, you know, this could be a swing trade, but I don't. Ah. Let's see the long term chart. This is brought to my attention by um, the, the top sense scanner here as well. Second green day, perhaps volume on this one. Okay, so it's not like diabolical um, compared to its average, but it's not. It's not crazy. So it hasn't really done much this year either. Uh, it's down a little bit. It's a junk up. I got penny stocks really. <laughs> okay, so it's down a bit. Does it spike? Not really. Normally it just... Uh, it has had a run up before. New company as well. New company. Interesting. There's nothing, you know, ready for the trade, unfortunately guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna conclude this video. Oh, NXTD. Just when I like get off NXTD, it wants to just you know, move again. It's the high on this candle. Look at that volume on that. See, that that would have got me again, but there's more <laughs> just volume and momentum. Because that, would, you know, I think was that on pre market. Oh, it's ramped up pretty significantly, actually. Really nice volume too. It's the high on this 675. Mm, interesting. Anyway, guys, I'm going to conclude this video. Thank you for watching. I will keep 
everyone updated as well if something does happen trade-wise. Bye for now.